the thing now. If he were to say, I want to be here and I don't want Ky Kyrie here, what is he admitting? The, Kyrie, the KD Kyrie experiment was a failure. That's what it would be. And KD doesn't. See, that's why he doesn't want to accept the leadership responsibility. Because when things go bad, Skip, they blame the leader. If you're the leader of a platoon and something happens to that platoon, the leader gets held responsible. Well, KD is the leader. He's the best player on this team. Whether he wants to accept the leadership role or not, it's him. It falls on him. The problem that I have is, is that I don't know. Skip, that might be the case. He might not want Kyrie there. But then again, hell, tomorrow he wake up like, yeah, I want Kyrie. Nah, 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 get rid of Kyrie. Yeah, I want Kyrie. So I, how, do, how do I build my team when I don't know from one day to the next what KD's going to ask for? Or, or what, hell, he might say, yeah, I'll get Kyrie up out of here. And then come two weeks later say, you know, come to think about it, I want to get up out of here too. And then what? <laughs> so that's the problem that the Brooklyn Nets have. I just wish KD, and maybe he has, just sit down, maybe he have, has, sit down with the Nets and says, okay, what are you guys thinking? Because clearly, the market is not shaping up like you guys thought. Nah, they wanted four first-round picks and Carl Anthony Towns and, and, uh, and Ant-Man. No, nobody's going to give you that. Which, and you wouldn't want to go to Minnesota without Carl Anthony and Ant anyway. Skip, I just... He requested a trade when I don't believe he had to. I believe he once Kyrie opted back in or whatever the trans, he should have been having conversations with the Nets. I believe he has that type of relationship with the Nets that he could go to uh, Sean Marks, he can go to ownership and says, look, what direction are you going in? What are you, if, if Kyrie leaves, what are you trying to get in place of Kyrie? Okay, Kyrie opts in. Now it's better for you because you, have, you control his rights. You can move Kyrie. It's a lot harder to trade Kyrie given his unpredictability on the court yep. than it is Kevin Durant. Now, Kevin Durant, uncertainty, like he might be here a year, might be two years and go on the next. Okay. But Kyrie and his unpredictable, his mercurialism and yeah. the, 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 yep. the basketball is not the most important thing. It's hard to get a man to give you $60 million a year, Skip, when you the said man is and you telling him that, yeah, you paid me $60 million for something I don't really value that valuable that there are more important things to me than the game of basketball. And you want $60 million of my dollars per year? Yep. And there's something more important? Well, you need to go do that and let me find somebody that, that values what I'm paying him to do. So, Skip, I don't... I, I really... If, the only thing I know about KD is that there's a good chance he's going to change his mind within the next two weeks. Mm. So whatever he decided today, that's probably not going to be the case in two weeks. Mm. So I don't know if Dave McMenamin is, is somebody... The sources are telling Dave this... All I know is this, based on what I've seen over the last three to four years of Kevin Durant, he's never happy. Mm. He's never happy. Skip, the man left OKC to win a title. He goes to Golden State, and he won at a clip. He's probably never going to win that again. He wins three, two titles in three years and probably would win a third if that Achilles had stayed intact. He wasn't happy with that. It didn't give him the satisfaction that he thought winning a championship would, even though he's back-to-back -back finals MVP. He goes to Brooklyn. He rehabs the first year, comes out, plays, and everybody's like, Kevin Durant look like Kevin Durant, even after a year off with the Achilles injury. And now he, wa he wants out. Why? Bro, you helped put this together. Mm. Okay. I remind you, I have called Kevin Durant on this show many times the thinnest skin superstar <laughs> I have ever closely observed. And I do sometimes call him Kevin Durant at, because he do rant. And every <laughs> once in a while, he just goes. When you least expect it, he's just throwing a fit about something. And you said mercurial on Kyrie. I wrote down mercurial on oh, okay. Kevin because he's mercurially moody. Yes, it, I, I don't know from day to day what's going to set him off. He, he's going to be in a mood about this or a bad. Yeah. He'll be happy. He'll be down. He'll be. Katie, you're a great basketball player. What do you know? You ain't yeah. no player. I'm like, bro, I just said you were a great basketball player. What do you know? <laughs> right. And he's attacking people on Twitter. He's attacking me. He's attacking you. He's attacking everybody. <laughs> he's got burner accounts to attack people so that they don't even know no, it's. It's yeah. him that's attacking them. Okay. So that's what we're dealing with to start with. Right. I did first guess this because over the last two, three weeks on this show, I have told you that it appears to me that Kevin and Kyrie have gone splitsville. Right. They are not besties anymore. They are do not invite them at this point together. And 
I still believe two things. I believe the biggest mistake Kevin Durant ever made was following Kyrie to Brooklyn. There was a better route for him. If, if you want to go do something, if you want to go take a challenge, it, it's the other team across the, the, the bridge. It's the Knicks. It's, it's, it's the Mecca. It, it's not since 1973. It, right. it's, it's just on a silver platter. Okay, you went and did that for Steph. You did it to LeBron. Okay, if, if you can't take living in Dub Nation with, with Steph yeah. because he's always going to be the most beloved, okay, go to New York and say, watch this. I'm going to put the Knicks not only back on the map, I I'm going to put them in the NBA Finals. Yes. Let's see what we see here. Oh, man. Okay? You, you know what would happen? <laughs> the, the you want to talk about legendary? Okay, so they had a chance to do that, but to your point, I've said it all along, Kevin is far more follower mm -hmm. than leader, and he followed. He even said it at the opening media session in Brooklyn. I, I just, you know, Kyrie said he wanted to play for Brooklyn. It's a childhood team that he grew up in. It was the, the New Jersey Nets, yes. obviously. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, okay, that's it? Right. Okay. Biggest mistake you ever made was following him because he's not one to follow. Right. Because the deeper he gets into his career, the, the more his passion wanes, right. to, to your point. And now we got one issue after another. And I believe the vaccination issue, just it, it wrecked the team. It wrecked Kevin's psyche. Right. It sent James back to the drawing board to get me the hell out of here, right. get me back to Daryl Morey in Philly. It, it, and, and, and then Kyrie just would drop out of sight for no apparent reason. I don't even think he kept Kevin in touch on no. that. He just dropped out of sight. Right. Ah, there are more important things in life than basketball. And what, 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 what is what, it? What, what is it? What, what, help me out. Yeah, you can't, you can't, Skip, you can't take a, take a man's honest money that he's paying you. You can't. And then just skip out and say, well, there's more important things. Okay. We just take time off and say, hey, I need some time to All myself right. and okay. tend to what you need to get tended to. So there was a flashpoint, a point of no return. Fairly early last year, the, the Nets organization sent Kyrie home. Mm -hmm. well, if you don't want to play, if you don't want to get vaccinated so you won't be there for us. They didn't want a part-time the player. Then we don't want a part-time player. Just go home. Right. Just, just go. Well, we don't need you. I'm pretty sure Kevin was actively involved in that decision process, yes. and I think he voted to send him home. Right. Wow. Really? Well, that's bridges at least set on fire between the two of them. Right. They did all as an organization have to crawl back to Kyrie after they struggled all year mm -hmm. because they needed him and they were desperate. And I'm not sure what part Kevin played in that, but it was clear to me just by the body language in those four losses to Boston, Kevin's heart wasn't in it. He was awful, but, but his heart didn't look in it. His body language didn't look right. I don't think Kyrie's body language was right. And you could you, you you didn't feel the connection between the two of them anymore, right. and and now you, you're starting to get into that Shaq Kobe territory against Detroit in the finals when it, you could just see right. that, that they just didn't want to do this anymore. Right. And all of a sudden, you could argue it's the biggest upset in the history of the finals was Larry Brown's Detroit Pistons with Chauncey and they, they pulled it. What and was it? Rasheed Ben five Wallace. Games? Five. Five games. Wow, it was a shocker. Yes. Okay. Well, it was a lot because. Shaq and Kobe had hit the wall together, right? right? Yes. Okay, so on a little lower level, because these guys aren't Shaq and Kobe, but but it felt like they just had hit the wall together. Right. So now we come to the, the shocking trade. I don't know if you want to call it a demand or request, whichever it right. was. But I do believe what Dave McMenamin is saying is true, that, that Kevin just wants out from under Kyrie. So he wants out of Brooklyn because it, the, the order of it was, Kyrie opted back in, which is no shock, right. 36.7, whatever it was. Right. So he opts back in. So next year he is the property of the Brooklyn Nets. Right. And that's when Kevin came out of nowhere with bolt out of the blue. What? You want to be traded? Right. Well, wait a second. <clears throat> what about you and Kyrie? I, I think they're splitsville. Well, Skip, remember there was also reports that maybe KD and